Did you know you can make these exact same Instagram reels where the pictures move to the beat right in Canva? Oh, you can. Let's get going and I'll show you how. So here we are at one of the video tutorials that creative, um, smart people have set up for, for people like us that don't have the time to sit and figure out how to time our pictures to the music. So I've, uh, I'm going to actually put a link to this Instagram in the video description below so that you can come and look at it yourself. What I like to do is when I see these tutorials, I save the audio. And if you want to know how to do that, if you don't know how to save an audio and go back and find it later uh, to use, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll create another video of how to do that. But for this one, we're just going to specifically talk about how to set up something like this in Canva and it's super easy. Now I would suggest that you do try out the Canva Pro version. You'll get a lot more features and you can also use stock photography if you want. And it's just such a great program. We are an affiliate, but we also use the program as well. So highly recommend it. If you want to try it for 30 days free, there's a link below in the description. In the meantime, let's get started. How easy is this? You can actually, um, type in Instagram reels and you can see here, there's already a template set up. Now I don't know if that template is a pro version or not. Um, again, I have a paid version, so pretty much everything is open for us. They have tons of cool little templates that you can use and you can just drag and drop your pictures into it and change things around to make it your own. So again, lots of creative, smart people over at Canva helping you out and helping you with your business. We're going to come over here to create a blank Instagram reel. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing a, um, listing for a real estate agent. Now, as you probably know, if you're in the market for housing, houses don't stay on the market for very long, but we're going to create this uh, using some pictures and we're going to create a sold uh, reels. And I also, and it's to that music that this gentleman has here. So how do I do that? Now, later on in the video, I'm going to give you, and actually throughout this, you're going to get the exact combination that I used so that you can create this exact um, video with whatever pictures you want and it'll be timed to the beat of a song. I will also have that in the video description link as well so you can easily do everything um, that we're doing here. So my friends at Bear Spirit Realty were kind enough to give me some photos of uh, a listing that they had. Now, if you ever want to go and buy uh, land and property and ranches and mountain life, you live that mountain life in Colorado, my friends at Bear Spirit, Spirit Realty will help you. They are not clients, they are friends. Um, so in that regard, let's go ahead and start this. Now you can see here, if you've watched my um, Facebook slideshow video, this is pretty much the same thing. What we need are 10 pictures to make this Instagram. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we're going to come back over here to the very beginning and we're make sure that that's selected and I've already uploaded the pictures, but you can do so of course by using this upload button and selecting the pictures that you want. And we're going to go through here and I actually kind of like this picture a little bit better for the entrance because it's lit up. It looks kind of nice. And, um, we're just going to slide that in there and then we're going to go to our second picture, which I want to use as this entrance way here. Now what I'm doing is I'm selecting the picture and I'm dragging it over. Now it'll automatically set up kind of centered for you, but sometimes you don't want just the center. You kind of might want it just a little off. So what I did is I double clicked and now it's letting me move it back and forth within. You can kind of see, like you can see my finger. You can kind of see over here, this um, clear uh, portion that is your template and everything else that is foggy <laughs> or blurred here is out of that picture frame. So you can simply uh, click, point, hold, and that is how you are getting uh, that image to move. And I do want that. There we go. So you're just going to keep filling these up 
Now, one of the things that is a little bit difficult and we'll probably do a video of that later on is when you have these um, wonderful professional photography pictures taken in the landscape, which for real estate, you pretty much do need. Um, it doesn't really give you the full beautiful effect when you're doing it horizontally here. Um, so like this image right here and I'm um, dragging it over and I said it was going to center it. That's pretty, I want to showcase these windows. So I'm double clicking, holding it down with my mouse and dragging here so that we can get that picture of beautiful, the view, beautiful view from this living room. And we're simply going to keep doing that. Uh, did I do the kitchen yet? I don't think so. There we go. Give a little bit. And we're just going to keep dragging and dropping, double clicking, and uh, trying to showcase that beautiful house. Okay, so there we go. Now we have all of our images that we want to use, um, loaded, centered, and aligned. We're going to come over here and we're going to choose a heading and we're going to say sold. Um, I'm using just regular text and I don't like this one so we're going to use, nope. Um, so let's just go with my good old standby there. You can also drag it and make it bigger that way as well. Um, and then we're going to also put in where, whoops, where this is, which is Littleton, Colorado. Okay. And we want to make this big as well. And we're going to go use the same font. And I want a little bit smaller. Uh, one thing I will tell you is that when you start putting words and things down here at the bottom, please keep in mind that over here on the left hand side, it's going to be your profile picture and your Instagram name, as well as your comments and your first line of um, what you're talking about, your caption, as well as the song title. So if you put your, you know, you put your words here, it's going to be you're not going to see it. And then also don't forget here along the side, this is where your heart is. This is where the comment section is and all the other little things that people, so you don't want to clutter that up either. So I'm just going to put that right about there, move it a little bit. And I think I'm going to make it just a gauche smaller and uh, make sure that it's not in that section. All right, so that's the first uh, picture or first page. Now, how are we gonna get that nice seamless transition? We do that very easily by using this little plus button here. You simply select that and it'll give you the option to add a page or add a transition. We're gonna add a transition. And I personally like the dissolve. So we're gonna select that. Now you can do your duration. I keep it set for 0.5 seconds. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter. But for this one, because we're trying to time it to the song, we're gonna keep it at 05. Um, once we do that, I like this transition, I like this timing, so I'm going to come down here, make it super easy, and just apply that transition to all the pages. You can see it just automatically did that for us. So that's your first step. Now the second step is we have to get that timing in. So this is where I'm going to give you the timing to put in. Uh, it's very important though that you do the transition first. And then you come over here and add the timing because the transition, remember it was 0.5 seconds. So that takes away from uh, the time the picture is shown and it won't line up to the beat. So make sure you do your transitions first and then come over here and do the timing. So I'm going to just simply do that. Now the first one is a little bit long. Um, the second one is where we're going to get to the shorter version. So I'm coming up here to where it says timing for this page, right? And you can see here it's already got that selected. I'm going to hit 1.0 because I just want one second. I'm going to hit enter. And then again, I'm going to apply that to the rest of the pages. Oh, except I forgot 
this one needs to be 1.7. But it's still easier doing that than <laughs> doing, doing them all each one. This particular one, you wanna do 1.1. Makes it a little bit longer on the end, but um, that's what we want. So now we're gonna come over here and now that we have everything uh, timed and sized and put in there the way that we want, we're gonna test it and see what it looks like. So here we go. Of course, we don't have music, but you can see how it has that nice transition and you can see it. I like it. So then you're just simply gonna download it here into the MP4 video, download it to your computer, then get it over to your phone, however you want to do that. And I will show you next what the final one looks like. This is how it looks. So what do you think? Okay, you may need to pause this video, but this right here is the exact sequence you need to make those images uh, move to the beat of the song. Go ahead, pause. I'll wait. Ooh, there's something different about us. Ooh, 